We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so humid you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. While we're on this subject, anyone seen my air pang blue or lip cream? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle. The Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try. And that guy is dead. Good riddance. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. First down and six. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates 
Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Seriously, man, if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down in a mile. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Third down and long. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> Second down and long. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck.
Third down and forever. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Seven. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? Third down in. The punter is warming up. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a call. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch. And he turns it on the... Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and ten. Oh! When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. 
songs. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, <laughs> they didn't taste so good. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and 10. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he runs it for four yards. And that will bring up third and one. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And that'll bring up third down and seven. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. Yep. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Ghost. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. He's not going down. He runs it for three.
Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first timeout. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and, well, good luck. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads up. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. It's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. First grade. Just a Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that'll be second ten. And the defense goes for the juggler. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball, dirty trick. Ah, uh, pass. He is fighting for every yard. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's unique. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and nine. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Eh, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not elite. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. If they don't pick it up here, offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. It's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and long. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And that defender just got cut in half. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Third down and eight. Play went nowhere fast. No gain. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister, and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Crushed. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Third down and ten. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. And he 
picks up four on that passing catch. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second down and six. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. one in for the first down. First down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? By the looks of it, extra crispy. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down and a mile. Second down in a mile. And he rumbles for nine on that play. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. He could be. He might be. He is gone. He is not coming back. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty. Oh, nice hit. First down and nine. game picking up some steam a gain of seven there second down and two right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes it oh big catch big run big touchdown and big deal mr meat for brain with a 
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and eight to go. And he runs it in for the touchdown. They're going for two points. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. 
right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Chris and his girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling... And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Yeah. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights the onside kick is a desperation play but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position stealing ain't right Glenn it just ain't right First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The Vultures walk away victorious today. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Oh, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...